And welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are in the German town headquarters of the police. Infested by super mutants and red roaches. Or more so by super mutants really. They have taken hostages from big town and we are here to free them. And I still suck. Oh my god. Thank you, rats, for saving my dignity. Yes, kill that red roach. The immense threat of that creature is unbelievable. So yeah, uh, we already cleared out the top and the uh, ground floor. And we have located one of the hostages. I'm not setting her free until I've cleared out the basement too. I think you can probably say, set her free without her running off, but I don't want to take that risk because I'm scared. Uh, more tumblers. That's an awesome thing to come across. Because I like lockpicking, as you can probably tell from what I'm doing right now. And the fat man. You may remember that as the uh, nuke launcher, or rather mini nuke launcher. Basically a mixture of a grenade launcher and a... Ugh and a rocket launcher that fires tiny nuclear bombs it looks like some raiders came across the super mutants or the other way around and it didn't end too well for the raiders either hmm i'm not sure what to say to that on the one hand i don't mind raiders getting killed on the other hand nobody really deserves that then again the raiders do that to each other all the time so who am I to judge eh? yeah, more stuff okay so yeah as you would expect there are a lot of supplies in a police headquarters seems that the uh, super mutants didn't quite take everything away yet. There's a lot of useful stuff in there. Oh, that's awful. There we go. I'm gonna blame the gun, you know, just because. Must be the gun. Totally. I hear something. Sounds like a super mutant in the distance. So far, I only encountered red roaches in here, but maybe they'll change soon. Hey, I, I, I hear them, yeah. Take him out. Oh no. Oh no. It's another big one. He looks like an overlord. And he's tough like one too. Okay, we gotta corner this guy. Luckily he doesn't seem to have any sort of weapon. So it stays that way. The sword will break before this creature is dead. You can already tell. Head hurt? Okay, that's good. That's one thing. Let's go for the legs next. That's good too. Yes, now let's go for the arms if we can at all. Time for another round of vats. Can't see anything. Come on, come on. My sword is about to break. It's about to break any moment now. 
Yep. We're gonna win this, but yeah, the weapon is broken. Gonna have to repair it. Do we have any other short range where I could use the shotgun, I guess? Head, I guess. What isn't crippled yet? Well, his head isn't crippled yet, yeah. You're gonna die, dude. No! Wow, this guy is freaking tough. And another weapon is broken, but I still have some other weapons! Yay! Um, do I have... I guess it's up to the uh, unique assault rifle then. Uh. The head is crippled, now let's go for one arm and then the, the other arm. In case it has one leg and one arm that aren't crippled. Finally! What a behemoth! Well, not quite. He had a he had a hunting rifle and he didn't even use it. What a weirdo! All right, we're not gonna as before. I'm, I want to explore the rest of this place before we uh, save the guy officially, so to speak. Because uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Probably nothing important whatsoever, but maybe something of use. Also, I might want to drink something. Oh, hold on, there's there's a red roach. God, no. This may sound silly, but... The red roach might actually kill the guy, so... Yeah. Take care of that. Because I don't think he can protect himself while he's... Bound. So, if the Red Roach ever starts to attack him, he's pretty much dead unless you intervene quickly enough. Yeah, I'm gonna heal myself. Because this is not over. I think the Super Mutants are now all dead, but uh, there's still more to this. We still need to get these guys back home. So, yeah. Alright, now I'm feeling much better. And I have this nice green glow about me. Right. I already checked that. I remember that. Did I check this one though? Nope, I did not. Okay. Now time to check what basically amounts to a kitchen. So if I if I overheard that correctly, then this this overlord who doesn't who isn't called an overlord, but I think his face, yeah, I think that is an overlord. Um, wanted to eat him. While the other one, the the lady upstairs, was supposed to. Uh, be taken with them. So I guess they have a plan, but the plan doesn't mean that they are gonna take all the prisoners with them. They might also eat some of them. I guess they're kind of flexible like that. Alright. Ah, nicely assorted. Thanks. It's very helpful. Still just sitting there, okay. In case you didn't realize it yet, you're safe, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna help you in a moment. Nope, don't need those organs. Yeah, pretty disgusting kitchen, if you ask me. They haven't swept this floor in weeks, probably. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Thanks. Who are you? Never mind, I don't care right now. Let's go get red and get out of here. You lead? I'll follow. Let's go. Move it. Don't order me around. All right. Move it. You could use a weapon, though. Hell yeah. Lay it on me. You can actually uh, equip these guys. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really need these assault rifles. So you take one, and I think they need like a little bit of ammo. Just a little bit. And that'll hold them over forever, basically. Because they don't actually use ammo, but they need ammo in their inventory. I think. I'm not exactly sure, 100%, but... Alright, follow me. I'm right behind you. I think that's how it works, but don't quote me on that. Maybe I'm paranoid and I don't even have to give him any ammo, but I think I do. I hope I'm not wrong uh, regarding the fact that he doesn't actually use up ammo. Maybe he does, because if he does use it up, 